it's one problem, uh, and what you're going to see when I click on this video is kind of like a little bit of a story. It is a partially true story. I want you to write down the information that you think is important to the story. You're going to get to watch this twice. Okay, it's about a minute and 30 seconds long. Hopefully, everything will work out technologically. This picture might look familiar to you. That's right, it's our classroom. Uh, you can see the really cool Infinity Bookshelf over here. But one thing you might have noticed for a little while now uh, is that this bulletin board over here has been blank. And what I've been wanting to do is take your graded and signed tests and take some of the top performing students and put their graded and signed tests up on this bulletin board. So here's why I need your help. Your test looks like this. It's on an eight and a half, eight and one half by eleven sheet of paper. And I could just put it directly up on the bulletin board, but, I, but what I really like to do, uh, or one idea that I had, was that I'd like to put a black piece of construction paper behind it to make this really cool looking border. Now, you guys know that I'm kind of a perfectionist, so one of the things I do when I put my black uh, construction paper behind it is that I like to make sure that there is a three-fourths of an inch space between the black construction paper and the eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. So my mathematical question for you to solve is if there is a three-fourths of an inch space between the pieces of construction paper on every side what is the perimeter of the black piece of construction paper? Good luck. Okay, take a second to write down the information. I think you now have a general idea about what the problem is about. I'm going to play it one more time because just like in math, you would reread a question if you didn't understand. I'm not sure if I expected everyone to get all of the information the first time around. So, one more time. Hey, this, this, this picture might look familiar to you. That's right, it's our classroom. Uh, you can see the really cool Infinity Bookshelf over here. But one thing you might have noticed for a little while now uh, is that this bulletin board over here has been blank. And what I've been wanting to do is take your graded and signed tests and take some of the top performing students and put their graded and signed tests up on this bulletin board. So here's why I need your help. Your test looks like this. It's on an eight and a half, eight and one half by eleven sheet of paper. And I could just put it directly up on the bulletin board, but, I, but what I really like to do, uh, or one idea that I had, was that I'd like to put a black piece of construction paper behind it to make this really cool looking border. Now, you guys know that I'm kind of a perfectionist. So one of the things I do when I put my black uh, construction paper behind it is that I like to make sure that there is a three-fourths of an inch space between the black construction paper and the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So my mathematical question for you to solve is if there is a three-fourths of an inch between the pieces of construction paper on every side. What is the perimeter of the black piece of construction paper? Good luck. Okay, the next thing I would like for you to do is now compare your notes with your partner and figure out what information is important to you. Okay, go ahead and get started. Speak loud. Like you said, 
I've been thinking of two ways to do it, so yeah, let's say it says that the, that the paper and the, the test front cover is eight, eight and a half by 11. So like you see it says on the construction paper on the outer side of the test, it says that it's three fourths of an inch separated from the paper in the margin. So I just thought that we could add in four, four times and I'm just one time. So what you guys are saying is that this 
is 11 inches, and that this is eight and a half inches. And to go back to what Gabriella said, she said we are looking for the total length around here. Is there any more information people think we need? Got Seawool. Seawool, last one. On my paper, I wrote uh, 8 and a half inches by 11 inches. Um, and then Not everyone's tracking you, by the way. Fiddling. Parker. And three fours added per side. I'm not even going to say anything more about that. You might be on. In, in the right direction for solving this. Now I'm gonna have you work with your partner for the next 10 minutes. And I'm gonna go around with this. How are you gonna find the perimeter of the black construction paper? Go ahead. First, um, you see, first, you see how it says eight and a half by 11? Yeah. And since you demonstrated it says 11 and this is eight. Yes, we have to multiply. No, no, we have to apply. Eight and, and a half. half. Okay, let's add. Eight and a half plus eight and a half. And plus 11 plus 11. Yeah, well, a shorter way to say 11 plus 11 is 12. What is eight and a half plus eight and a half plus eleven plus eleven? What is that doing? That's oh, that's adding um the total the total um the perimeter of the the test inside. So then we could um add it with the three quarters of an inch of the space, and then we'll find the perimeter. Looks um eight and a half, eight and a half cents. Keep going. We'll see. Half. That means that, that this is a whole. whole. So exactly. So this is minus two. So we So I see you guys taking down that picture. What are you all thinking of doing first? Try to find the perimeter of the sheet before we go to the construction paper. Then oh, so you're starting with the test itself? Yes. Okay. How, once you get the perimeter of the test, how is that going to help you find the perimeter of the construction paper? No, like, how, you only could find out there. You only need to add three fourths, four times to it to get the construction paper. Okay, we'll see how it goes. What are we doing? All right, gentlemen, what are you thinking? Okay, can I just zoom in on your work here? So this 93.5 is the perimeter of the test? How did you get that? Because um, anytime anything is, it says um, 8.5 and a half by 11, mm -hmm. by is always Oh. How do you normally find the perimeter of an object? Add what? Okay. So interesting. You're picking multiplication. Justin is saying find perimeter, you add up all the sides. Are you going to revise? Okay, so I can see Ethan, you're doing some adding now. The big question is going to be, once you find the perimeter of the test, which I think you guys are going to find relatively easily, how does that help you find the perimeter of the black construction paper? Yes. All right, I have a few questions here. Um, one, I noticed you're working with decimals. Uh, why'd you guys choose to work with decimals and not the fractions? Um, because since you said in the video you said 0.75. I didn't say 0.75 in the video. What did I say in the video? You said half What did I say? You said eight and a half. I did. I think in the video I used the word three fourths of an inch. No, that was for the three, three fourths equal like 0.75. Yeah, we, we, oh. we used the decimal song. We transferred this into decimals so that the numbers would be combined instead of we had to do um, the, the 
equations separate because fractions aren't really. It's a bit confusing when you use them with whole numbers. So basically, we, we took our we took our both of our um, numbers in, in this equation and we added to 0.75 because that's how much space is from each side. And then we also added, you know, then we multiplied those answers that we got for that equation by two because there's two sides to, like on each one because it's like a rectangle. And then lastly, we added those up and we got 42 inches. But I, but if we were going to do it by like inch, is it would be 18 and a half by 23 and a half. Can you raise your hand if you think your group has an answer yet? Can you raise your hand if your group has an answer yet? Okay, hold this, please. I'm just going to make a few recordings of answers that I've seen or that you were going to tell me. Uh, Hila Egypt, what do you have? We have 45 inches. 45 inches. Uh, who else said they were done? Uh, e. Sit, hold on, hold on. Everyone look up you. Say it again. Eight and a half is 17. So if you add that, I did it over that, it is 39. 
And then if you do that, that's yeah. That's three four. Can, can you ask me where? Can you tell me where the so? You guys are saying twenty two. Oh wait, you should probably do her paper. Her twenty two and seventeen. I get that because this is the twenty two and that's the seventeen. I don't know where you're getting the six from. From the corners right here, because you know that um that it's this is the is three fourths, right? So you can guess that these are the same because it's gonna be a square, so each is equal. Okay. So if you know that that is three fourths, and you know that each one right there is three fourths, so if you add three fourths plus three fourths, that's one point five inches, and so that means that's one point five inches for all of them, and one one point five times four is six, and if you add that to six, that's four. So you guys are confident. Why do you think they're all getting forty two then? Because they, they don't they didn't think about the corners. Yeah, the that corners. They, didn't, they just probably added. Well, yeah. they got 42, so I think they might have thought about the corners, but they didn't. They probably just added three, they thought three fourths was for each corner. Um, um, Which would get them what? If three fourths was for each corner. So that would be... Okay, uh, anyone willing to revise their answer? No.